When it comes to financial advice, you got to trust the source. It's why you listen to this podcast. When I'm looking to upgrade my wallet, I turn to NerdWallet. Their expert team of nerds dives into the details to help you find smarter financial products. Before NerdWallet, I was paying for vacations all wrong. (laughs) I was missing out on miles. I didn't even know I was leaving on the table. Now I've got a new card with more miles and more upgrades. What could future you do with more travel rewards? I don't know, maybe that fancy hotel upgrade that you have always been dreaming about. Wherever you go next, make it happen with a smarter travel credit card. Don't wait to make smart financial decisions. Compare and find smarter credit cards, savings accounts, and more today at nerdwallet.com. NerdWallet finance smarter. As with all cards, credit is subject to lender approval and terms apply. There is nothing I love more than an amazing meal with high quality meat cooked at home because let's be honest, eating out is so expensive. And you also know that eating out is the number one budget buster. That is why I am so glad I found ButcherBox. ButcherBox is a premium meat subscription service dedicated to delivering high quality, grass-fed and grass-finished beef, organic chicken, pork raised crate free, and wild caught seafood directly to your doorstep with free shipping always. You even get exclusive member deals, recipes, and a variety of high quality cuts at an amazing price. New users will receive their choice of two pounds of ground beef, three pounds of chicken thighs, or one pound of premium steak tips for a year. Use code ETM and get $20 off your first box at ButcherBox.com. Last night, we made a beef stew with meat from ButcherBox, and you can taste the difference. It was so satisfying and delicious, and all of our friends that were over for a dinner party, they raved at how good it was. So do yourself a favor and eat better this year with the best meat and seafood on the planet delivered to your door. ButcherBox is offering my listeners their choice of a weeknight meal essential, three pounds of chicken thighs, two pounds of ground beef, or one pound of premium steak tips for free in every order for a year. Plus, get $20 off your first order. Sign up today at butcherbox.com slash etm and use code etm to choose your free offer and get $20 off. I talk about work-life harmony as like creating your perfect meal. Only you know what that dish is. Only you know the flavors that work and don't work. Welcome to Everyone's Talking Money podcast. I'm your host, Shauna Game. There's no judgment, no dumb questions, just smart conversations about you and your money. So come on in and grab a seat. Everyone is welcome here. So in today's longer episode, we had Tina Wells on the show. She's the author of this amazing new book called The Elevation Approach. And it talks about these four stages of work-life harmony, preparation, inspiration, recreation, and transformation. And Tina herself is just amazing. She's all about productivity, but not about hustling, right? She's sort of in that camp of let's work smarter, not harder, She's written 16 books, which is just crazy, blows my mind. She has a line at Target. She was the producer of Oprah's Super Soul 100. And that's just to name a few of her accomplishments. But what I loved in this conversation with Tina was talking about how do you actually find work-life balance? You know, I feel like that's something we all want. It's something I strive for. Being an entrepreneur, it's really hard for me because my brain is always going, always working, always trying to solve something, always coming up with something new to talk to you about money or it's just kind of an endless stream. And I find it really hard to shut off. So what I really loved about the elevation approach One of the phases was recreation. And I love that because I always forget about getting outside or working out or doing something that's healthy for my body and my brain, and that that is actually part of work-life harmony. Go figure, right? So I hope you enjoyed this Pare Down episode. If you love what Tina's talking about, go back and listen to the previous episode where we really flesh out this idea. But I'm bringing you this short episode where we're breaking down Tina Wells' Elevation Approach. All right, 
here's to you and here's to some work-life harmony. You have this new book out. You, your strategy is all about something you call elevation approach. You say it's your unique foolproof method to take action and reach your biggest goals while finding harmony between work and life along the way. I mean, that sounds fabulous. <laughs> I love that. I'm signing up. I'm signing up for that. And you break it down into these four different phases. I'd love to just dive a little bit into these phases. Have you tell us a little bit about them, how we could start, uh, you know, grasping the elevation approach in our lives. So take us through, through step one, you call preparation. Yeah. So I will preface this by saying, you know, I'm going to come back to where I was when I burned out at 27, right? I started a company at 16, burned out by 27. So I realized I had like mastered half of the elevation approach at that point, burned out. And I'm going to tell you how I brought it all together. So the first phase is preparation. It's followed by inspiration, recreation, and then transformation. So in preparation, I, I, I am very good at prep. I'm sure a lot of your listeners are very good at this, right? It's when you decide you want to do the thing, right? Whatever the thing is, plan a big trip, launch a new business. You do all the prep work behind it. You figure out the numbers, if it's viable, if it's feasible, right? That's the preparation phase. In inspiration, that is where I would socialize, right? That's where you take it on the road and you start talking to people who have done it before to see, is this feasible? What led to my burnout was I was in a constant loop of, of preparation and inspiration. I come up with a big, big idea, go talk to people, socialize, socialize, get super fired up, go iterate again. And I was like stuck in this loop of busyness, right? Or hustle, and nothing was ever coming together. You know, when I started to incorporate recreation, which is really, as it sounds, that idea that you need to insert some fun, some rest, some play, I realized during that time where I was resting or having fun, right? My mind was going and things were being put together. I wasn't physically doing work, right? But I felt like a lot of stuff was happening. And then all of a sudden I get to a place where I'm like, got it. Now I know how I'm going to get to the finish line. And that was the game changer for me. That's how you get to 14 books in three years, right? Is the idea of like, you need to pause, right? I was getting, what I realized is when I was burning out, I was burning out because I was just taking in tons and tons of info and I didn't have a process to distill, to filter, to then make improvements and then bring it to the finish line. So if you imagine, I was like going in a loop, but never really ever crossing a finish line. And so that was just such wasted energy, you know? Yeah. It's like the hamster in the wheel, right? You're just exactly. going around and around. And <laughs> I think we all probably can relate to that at some point in our life. I know I've definitely been the hamster in the wheel you know, many, many times. And I think it, it comes back to, to money, you know, the, the, yeah. the theme of the show that we're talking about here, where, where do you see money? Where do you see money? You know, how, I don't know, get, getting stuck, like getting in the way of people being able to kind of move through these four different phases so that they can achieve their goals. Yeah. So in the preparation phase, I, I've included, so you don't just have these big moves into the next phase, right? I give you these instant elevation principles that help you continue to move through. So like in preparation, the three instant elevations are, you know, declutter your space, get curious and know your numbers. And when I talk about the idea of knowing your numbers, I think when we, you know, we lived through a period where so many financial gurus came, right? And they said, it's all about money. It's all about money. It's all about money. It is absolutely so critical. But I also need to know how much I'm sleeping, how productive I am. Like there are a lot of numbers that are really important. And what I'll say about money is I want to teach you how to make your goal attainable, to reach it. And a big part of the process is being 100% honest, a 1,000% honest with yourself, right? So if you want, I, there's great, I just read this great, I think it was New York Magazine. Um, they did this amazing issue about how people said they wanted to live in New York and what that oh, really, in reality, that. Yeah, yes. it was incredible, right? So my point in saying that is like, they didn't even realize how much the lifestyle they thought they wanted was going to cost, right? And I think it is incredibly important if you're saying, I want to achieve a goal, I want to own this house, to be a thousand percent clear on what that is going to cost and what effort it's going to take to achieve the life you want. 
right? Because then again, you're still a hamster on the wheel. And now I move to a place where I'm really clear in saying, I need, I want to make X amount of dollars. And this is exactly what I'm willing to do to make X amount of dollars. So you might present an option to me that, that I could make more. And I would say, what's my work-life harmony look like if I want to do that? What do I get to have if I do that, right? And many of us will make those decisions for many reasons, right? Aging parents, okay, I'm willing to take that on if I can take care of my family, do certain things. But I think it's incredibly important to be honest with yourself about the money you want to make and what you're willing to do to make it. I have friends who tell me up front, Tina, I would never want to be an entrepreneur. I do not have a tolerance for risk. I need a steady paycheck. I don't want to just throw caution to the wind. That's not for me, right? There are people, everyone, I think we went through a time where everybody thought they had to start their own business, right? Right, right? Everybody needed, it's like, if that's not you and you also, there's, there's a path for everyone. But again, I keep going back to this idea that you have to be really honest with yourself. Listen, if you've been using Mint to manage your money, I have got some news for you. First, the bad news. As you might know, Mint is shutting down for good. But the good news, well, there is a way better alternative that is a personal favorite of mine, Monarch Money. And I'm not the only lover of Monarch Money. Many Mint users are turning to Monarch Money and just raving about it. I used to manage my money with an Excel spreadsheet. I know, so archaic. And it was so time consuming. I tried all of the apps. But I just didn't find one I liked until I found Monarch. And I've got to tell you a secret. Monarch is so easy to use with a very intuitive design. You can even collaborate with your partner and you can customize Monarch for whatever your needs are. Monarch is the top rated all-in-one personal finance app. It gives you a comprehensive view of all your accounts, investments, transactions, and more. Create custom budgets, set goals, and collaborate with your partner. And now get an extended 30-day free trial when you go to monarchmoney.com etm. Let's go back to the collaboration bit. Because we know money is a leading cause of divorce and breakups, Monarch has built-in collaboration features so you can invite your partner at no extra cost. You can see all your finances, make a budget together, get insights on your cash. Yes, cue the confetti. There will literally not be any more arguments over money. And if you've been frustrated with personal finance apps that are cluttered with ads, difficult to use, or rarely updated, so was Monarch. They built a new kind of personal finance app that's intuitive and powerful ad-free, and constantly improving based on customer feedback. Monarch has a tool that allows you as well to easily import your data from Mint. You can keep all of your tags and all of your categories. After trying Monarch for myself, I understand why it's the top-rated personal finance app. And right now, get an extended 30-day free trial when you go to monarchmoney.com slash etm. That's M-O-N-A-R-C-H-M-O-N-E-Y dot com slash etm for your extended 30-day free trial financial anxiety, anyone? Yeah, you're not alone. But worrying about it, it doesn't help. Earnin does. Earnin is an app that gives you access to your pay as you work up to $100 per day or up to $750 per pay period. You just download the Earnin app and verify your paycheck. Then you can access up to $100 per day as you work and leave an additional tip. Any money you access plus tips are automatically repaid from your next paycheck. So how would you spend the money you get from Earnin? Well, honestly, my hubby and I have been feeling a little bit disconnected lately. That's what happens after you've been together about 12 years. So I would spend the money on a special date night with dinner and maybe bowling, you know, to bring back some of that giggly excitement that we both felt at the beginning. Make Earnin a part of your financial routine and join Earnin's over three and a half million customers who say things like, when I think about Earnin, I think about financial stability, security, gives me a lot of peace of mind. Download Earnin today, spelled E-A-R-N-I-N, in the Google Play or Apple App Store. When you download the Earnin app, type in Talkin, T-A-L-K-A-N, money under podcast when you sign up. It will really help the show. Talkin money under podcast. Subject to your available earnings, location, daily max, and pay period max. See earnin.com slash TOS for details. Earnin is a financial technology company, not a bank. Bank products are issued by Evolve Bank and Trust, member FDIC. Millions of people have lost weight with personalized plans from Noom, like Evan, who can't stand salads and still lost 50 pounds. Salads generally for most people are the easy button, Right. For me, that wasn't an option. I never really was a salad guy. That's just not who I am. But Noom worked for me. Get your personalized plan today at Noom.com. 
real Noom user compensated to provide their story. In four weeks, the typical Noom user can expect to lose one to two pounds per week. Individual results may vary. How do you evaluate, you're talking about, you know, goals and being honest with yourself, but how do you evaluate whether a goal is like feasible for you? Whether it's something that is like, you know, they always say like, shoot for the moon, you know, come up with like, you know, the the biggest thing you can think of. But then when it comes down to like going through these four phases and really thinking mm-hmm. about like, how would I actually achieve the goal for a lot of, a lot of people? It's like, well, I'm, that's probably not even possible for me. So like, how do you find that the balance even in, in the goals and kind of what you're aiming for? Yeah, I think when you, like when I can articulate, right? So the first time I actually really successfully went through my process, which was about four years ago, right? Where I really quite quit my agency, totally changed my work life. Um, I started to say, like, I talk about work-life harmony as like creating your perfect meal. Only you know what that dish is. Only you know the flavors that work and don't work. So I feel like when I got to Tina's ideal meal, right? If you bring me something and I'm like, if I add that flavor, what's it going to do here, right? Do I want to add that ingredient or not? Am I going to like the change? It's like, do you want the cilantro? Do you not? You know what I mean? I'm like, what's going to happen here if I add this? And that's now how I consider every opportunity. What will it do to my work-life harmony? How is it? Go- is it going to be additive? Is it going to subtract? Am I going to like it? Is it a change for a short period of time? You know, there are times when I was like, you know what? I want to travel and I want to do this and I want to do that. And so I'm willing to work X amount of hours and have X amount of side gigs to do what I want to do. Now, probably not so much. You know, now I'm like, I do a lot of creative stuff. I need to be in that zone. What does that look like? I'm willing to give up some other stuff. And so, again, it's a constant conversation, though. And that is, I think, where some of us might be challenged is we're, we're raising kids and we're taking care of parents and we're going and we're meeting work goals and we're not taking that time to say, am I happy? Am I, am I on track? Am I meeting what I want to meet? And that is a really important part of this process. And I think another thing that's really important in what you're saying is that obviously we know that money is important. It's an important ingredient. It's how we live our lives. But you know, it's not cliche to say that it just can't be, it can't be everything. You know, for me, there was a big switch. I spent 12 years working with clients one-on-one. And, you know, I would see like we could we could come up with like the greatest plans for you, the greatest plans to help you achieve your goals financially, whatever it might be. But if there isn't a motivation to change, if you don't understand your your relationship with money and kind of how that comes into play, you don't balance it at all with, you know, having some fun and and doing some things that are that are recreational, that get that get you to relax, that kind of get you out of that frame of thinking of just striving, 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 uh, you, you, you know, you, you don't achieve your goals. They're just kind of like sitting on, on a piece of paper. So I, I was wondering, you know, the, the sort of emotional aspect of goals, how do you attach like your why or your, you know, something that's like really strong motivating factor that is going to get you to actually create the change? Yes. I mean, I, I can tell it's like you've read my book, <laughs> right? So we talk about moving closer to yes, right? That's the first thing I say, like, we're not going to do any of this. We're not going to uh, adopt an approach or a process to try to change our lives if we don't know why we want to do it, right? And it's not because I'm telling you to do it, right? You have to have something in your life that you're like, I want my life to look like this and there, and I'm willing to do X, Y, and Z to get there, Right. And that's a really important thing for for everything to identify. Why are you doing it? You know, I know every time I'm doing something for work, what like what I am doing it for and why it matters. And and it can be different things, right? With my middle grade fiction, it's really because I want to increase the diversity of, you know, characters in middle grade fiction. I want all children to see characters that look like them and relate to those stories in some way. And that's incredibly important to me. And so I know why I get up and write and do those things. You know, when I'm make, working on a product line at Target, I want to delight. I want to equip and inspire their customers. And I go through thinking, okay, this is like, I am really grateful and I am really blessed to have this experience to create product and to serve people in this way. And I love doing that. So again, if I want to continue doing that, 
what what do I have to say no to, right? But it is you have to be self motivated to to start anything, right? And so. I think it's important to constantly go back to this is why I'm doing it. I think checking in on your calendar, looking at your calendar and saying, does this calendar reflect how I've committed to myself that I'm going to live my life? You know, you can't let a month go by and you then say, did I do what I wanted to do? You know, it's I look at my calendar every week. What's going on this week? I look at my calendar every day. How am I going to live this day? You know, just to kind of reinforce, oh, you know what? That's a really busy morning. I got to make sure I've got some recreation in there. I got to take a 15 minute pause, you know, so it's a constant flow of making sure I'm showing up. Thanks for checking out this pared down version of the episode with Tina Wells. If you enjoyed it, please share it with a friend or family member, invite them into this idea of work-life harmony. Also head on over to Apple Podcasts or the link in the show notes and leave us some stars for this episode. It really helps us grow this show and continue to get some amazing guests. Thank you so much. I'll see you back here in a few days for a brand new episode. Hello, Saver. Whether you're saving for that trip to the tropics or saving for an emergency, now is the time to take advantage of Wells Fargo savings options. Wells Fargo offers savings accounts that can help you save towards your goals. So, what are you saving for? Visit a Wells Fargo branch or wellsfargo.com slash save to open a savings account today. Wells Fargo Bank N.A. Member FDIC.